write down triadic color scheme. A triadic color scheme consists of, of three colors that are equal distance apart going around the color wheel. Um, I think I'm fine with you just writing down definitions for all of these, but it can be very helpful to just draw some visual examples or color them in if that helps you understand the concepts better. Uh, in terms of what I need, I just want to make sure you have the definition, then I'll assume that you understand the color scheme and how to apply it. So a triadic color scheme would be three colors that are equally distant. So think of it as like that triangle on the screen there. If I just kind of rotated that, um, that would tell you what colors you'd be using for that color scheme. So red, blue, and, and yellow would be a, a triadic color scheme. A split complementary color scheme, write that down. Split complementary scheme. A split complementary color scheme consists of one color and then the two colors on either side of that color's complement. So if you are thinking of this in terms of how would I know what colors to use, basically you would look at one, one color and its complement, like red and green, and instead of choosing green, you would choose the, the adjacent colors on the color screen scheme or the color wheel to green, like blue-green or yellow-green. So you're kind of splitting off and uh, not going with a full complementary color scheme. You're going with something that has uh, a little bit less contrast, but is still going to give you that, that visual pop. This is really a, a huge one here, uh, so really key in on this concept. Um, tints and shades. Write that down. Tints are created by adding white to a hue. Shades are created by adding black to a hue. So this is incredibly important when it comes time to start painting, which we will start doing tomorrow, or even just using any colors. So if you think about uh, every hue having tints or shades. Uh, if you think about like red, uh, think about different different tints of red. I mean, the obvious one that's going to come to mind is like pink. If I want to create pink, I would add white to red. If you wanted to create a shade of red like maroon or brick red, you could add black. Uh, if you're talking about like blue, uh, a tint of blue would be sky blue. Uh, a shade of blue would be navy. Uh, forest green would be a shade. Um, like Kelly green, light green, those are our tints. So that is really the way to create more colors, uh, more complex color schemes. The thing about paint, when you have a box of 12 crayons, you're pretty much limited to those 12 colors. When you have red, yellow, blue, white, and black, five tones, five colors uh, of paint, you've basically opened up the door to creating a million different color combinations, color comp, different types of color, by how much you add uh, each one of those colors to each other. So you pretty much can create the full, full spectrum with those, just those five, five colors, pretty amazing.